right, so today we're doing equations with algebraic fractions. So I'm going to teach you one method for this, and it works really well, you've just got to practice the method. So all we're doing is multiplying every term by the common denominator. So you can use the lowest one if you can, but um, if you don't, it doesn't really matter in the end, but if you can find the lowest, the numbers will look a lot smaller. Okay, so looking at this first question here, all we do is look at the denominators, 4 and 3. Circle them with your red pen. Now we're looking for the lowest common denominator for 4 and 3. That is 12. Okay, so we write the 12. I've written it in red pen so it stands out. In front of this first term and put that term in brackets. Now when you're doing this, you make sure that the 12 lines up with the top of the fractions. Alright, right across. The denominators look, should look like they're in a lower position. Okay, so then we copy the plus, write the 12 again outside this term in brackets. Keep your equals under equal signs. Then your 12 outside this term in brackets. Alright, so you can see what I've done differently. It's all in red. We're just putting a 12 in front of all three terms in the equation. Okay, now after that, what you're going to do is cancel. So this 4 is going to cancel with the 12 and leave you with a 3 there. This 3 will cancel with the 12 and leave you with a 4. And that's it for cancelling. Now, let's have a look at what we have after that's happened. We now have 3 times a, which is 3a, plus 4 times a there, 4a. And over here we have 12 times 14, which I've already worked out is 168. All right, we collect our like terms and we get 7a equals 168. Get rid of your 7. And then do that on your calculator and you'll get a equals 24. So when you're doing this, the whole beauty of this method is that once you do this multiplying by 12, that next line has no fractions in it. So if you've done it properly, there'll be no fractions left. Okay, so let's look at this next question. We, our denominators are 3 and 5. Our common denominator would be 15. I'm going to write the 15 outside all three terms that I have here. Okay, the terms that I do have are going in brackets and any signs. And it looks like that. So make sure you've lined up the 15 with the top of any fractions. Denominators fall below, whole numbers should be up the top as well. Now we're cancelling the 3 with the 15, that leaves us with a 5. The 5 with the 15 leaves us with a 3. And let's write down what we have left. We have 5x minus 3x. 15 times 4 is 60. And we'll just collect our like terms and get our x on its own. And then get our answer. Alright, let's look at the next one. So our common denominator for 7 and 4 is 28. So we're going to be multiplying all three terms here by 28. Doesn't have to be three terms, but it just happens to be at the moment. Copy everything else like we've been doing. Okay, and do our cancelling. 7 cancels with 28 to give you a 4. 4 cancels with 28 to give you a 7. And this is a multiplication here. So 28 times 0 is nothing. Alright, now we've got 4k. Now be careful here. I don't want anybody trying to expand. Just write what you see. So we have a 7 outside k minus 1. Alright, you're going to expand in this next line. So we're going to copy our 4k and then do this expansion here. So we have plus 7k minus 7. All right, and let's collect our like terms. And then move our number over to the other side. You can write 0 plus 7 or just 7. There's not really a need for that line. And then over 11. Now if you put that in your calculator, that won't change, so that's your answer. K equals 7 elevenths. Alright, let's look at number 4. Okay, so we have our denominators of 4 and 
and 2. Now, in this case, our lowest common denominator, you're not just going to multiply the 4 and the 2. 4 would be your lowest common denominator, because 4 and 2 both go into 4. So I'm going to use the 4 this time, because it is the lowest one. Okay, copy everything in brackets. Okay, and let's start doing our cancelling. The two fours will cancel completely. This two will cancel with this four and leave a two. Okay, and then write what you see. Now, I'm going to write that down like that even though I don't need those brackets because I don't want you messing up ones where we do need them. Okay, now the 2m minus 1 has nothing out the front to multiply by, so I'm just going to write in this 2m minus 1. This one does have expanding to do. So we're multiplying here. So it's plus 2m plus 2. All right, collect your like terms. 2m plus 2m is 4m. Plus 1 equals 24. Still got a few lines to go. There's not enough room here. I see if can fit it in. All right, we're going to get rid of our 1 now. And we're up to there, and now we're getting rid of our 4. So the opposite of divide, times in by 4 is dividing by 4. Now if you put that in your calculator, it's not going to change. It will give you 23 over 4. So that's the way we're leaving our answer. Alright, let's look at the next one. We have a 5 and a 2. Our common denominator will be 10. So we're multiplying everything by 10. Everything goes in brackets. Okay, now we're going to cancel our 5 and our 10, that will leave you with a 2. Cancel here and it will leave us with a 5. Okay, now we've got a little bit of expanding to do on this one, so just always write your time sign in because we just don't want to forget that we are multiplying here. You make a lot of silly errors if you forget that you're not that you are multiplying. All right, I'm going to be writing 9 here. We're multiplying. It's 14 plus 4n minus 5 plus 5n. Be careful with this. Minus 5 times minus n plus 5n. Okay, collect your like terms. 14 minus 5 is 9. Collect your n's. We have plus 9n. Okay, and move the 9 to the other side, this one here. It's coming to the other side. Keep your minus 10, this comes over and it's minus 9. And then we're going to divide by the 9 here. Okay. So over here, we're going to do number 6. Common denominator for 4 and 5 is 20. Twenty's all the way along, so we've got 3 terms here to multiply by 20. And looking for our cancelling now so that we get rid of all our fractions. So the 4 and the 20 will cancel and we'll leave you with a 5. And over here, the 5 and the 20 cancel and we'll leave you with a 4. Make sure that you're not writing too small because you've got to be able to read what you've written once you start cancelling. If you write too small, you won't be able to read it properly. Alright, so write exactly what you're looking at. 20 times 3, you can work out yourself. So we have plus 60 there. And copy what you see. I don't want anyone expanding in that line. Keep the brackets. You can expand once all the fractions are gone and it's a bit clearer. Okay, so now we're going to expand. So we have 5u plus 25. 
And then over here we've got four times two u, which is eight u. Right, collect your life terms here with the numbers. Okay, now when you get to there, we've got still got letters on both sides in this one. So you've got to get majority rules. 8u is bigger than 5u, so I'm going to keep the 8u where it is. And I'm going to move the 5u, positive 5u, over to make it a minus 5u on the other side, so the u's are all together. All right, collect our like terms, and we have a 3u there. All right, now we're going to just do the last line. I'll just move it up here because we're running out of room. And we're going to divide by that 3 there on the other side. And if you put this in your calculator, that will not change. It will give you that improper fraction. So we're going to leave it like that. All right. And the last question here, we have 7 and 6. Our common denominator is 42. So we're going to write 42 outside all three terms. Alright, so the equals under equals, so we've got all of this in brackets, don't forget. 2c in brackets, minus, and c plus 4 over 6 in brackets. Alright, really important you set, you're working out really well with these or it's going to be very hard to see what you're doing. Alright, cancelling the 7 and the 42 cancel to give a 6 there. Over here the 6 and the 42 cancel to give you a 7 in that spot. So no expanding, let's just write what we see. You can, ex you can multiply these two terms though. 42 times 2 is 84. C, copy this. All right, now we're ready for the expanding. Okay, so multiply. 6 times 12C, 72C, plus 18. And then when we get over here, don't forget you're multiplying. Minus 7 times C is minus 7C, minus 28. Be careful with the signs with the negatives. All right, collecting your like terms. 84 minus 7 is 77. C minus 28. Just slow yourself down if you think you're going to make a mistake or something and use your calculator. Alright, all our C's are going to one side. Majority rules, 77 is bigger. This one's coming over to join it. So over we go. That becomes minus 72C when it goes over. On the left hand side we have our numbers, so we copy in our 18. And we're going to get our minus 28. Move that over here. And that will be plus 28 when it comes over. Okay, now let's collect. Over on the right we have 5C, and over here we have 46. And then we're just going to divide by that 5, and your calculator will not change that answer. So we've done a fair few examples. You can see how much working's involved, red marks everywhere. Take your time. We don't want an error up in the top that flows through. Take your time, do it slowly, and get it right. I'm going to come back in the next video and just show you a couple of alternative ways of doing a few of these questions.